My name is Hilary Trapagan. I'm the lead calibration tech at the Digivac company. And today I'm here to demonstrate how to replace the tip seal in the Agilent IDP7 dry scroll vacuum pump. As you can see, we have our Digivac bullseye precision gauge hooked up to the pump, which has been running for approximately 10 minutes. And we've achieved a base pressure so far of nine millitor, which is very good. This pump is Digivac property, which we use for testing in our facility. It does not necessarily need its tip seal changed, but we like to demonstrate for your benefit. We recommend this standard maintenance approximately once every two years for consistency. So we'll grease the o-ring very slightly with the provided grease. Just work a bit between your fingers, pull it along the length of the o-ring, and then go over the surface with a lint-free cloth just to leave the surface slightly shiny. Then we can lay the o-ring in its groove. And keeping in mind our orientation, we'll see this slot on the outer scroll will correspond to this pin on the inner scroll, so we know the alignment. And then we will replace our screws with our four millimeter Allen wrench. Then we'll replace the cowling and fan. Remembering to plug this connector back in. And using our 8mm Allen wrench to replace the bolts. It's time to start up the pump and take a look at how it operates. So we've successfully replaced our tip seal in our IDP7 dry scroll vacuum pump and at this point we've turned it on to test it. We've been running our pump for approximately five minutes. We've reached a pressure so far of 46 millitor, which is quite good. Now, in the process of opening up and cleaning your individual scrolls, water, residual moisture, and even the solvent that you've used to clean the scrolls will be outgassing. So, we like to give our pump a bit of time to overcome that and also to allow the new seal to do its thing. So for approximately 20 minutes, you can unscrew gas ballast one to allow a little more airflow into the pump to help that solvent and water vapor out gas. After about 20 minutes, you can reseat the gas ballast and allow the pump to run overnight. And then your base pressure will be good as new. Well.